It was moving day, surprisingly, for three Browns assistant coaches. Let's start at the top. The offensive coordinator, Alex Van Pelt. Now, offensive coordinator by title. Now, remember, Kevin Stefanski called his own plays and really was the architect of the offense. But Alex Van Pelt's been here since Kevin got the job. Great guy, quarterback in his day, of course, when he played in the NFL. And one wonders now where he will be able to go. Because remember, you look at these last four years, and I think teams that would interview him would say, yeah, but you didn't call plays in Cleveland. And that might be a little bit of a deterring factor for him. But good luck to him. He did a very, very good job here, specifically working with the quarterbacks. Running backs coach Stump Mitchell and I do know this for a fact those running backs love Stump Mitchell Nick Chubb loves Stump Mitchell Kareem Hunt really had a great great uh, dealing with him and, and kind of a friendship with him and a relationship with him and the young running backs always just lived on what he said Stump Mitchell who's been here with Kevin Stefanski he is moving on to and so is the tight ends coach TC McCartney he is not coming back McCartney his position group if you only look at David and Joku had an amazing year and Joku had really a breakthrough season. I mean we've been waiting for David and Joku to have the kind of year that he had this season. You would have to think that McCartney was part of the reason for that. Jordan Akins was a bit of a disappointment coming over from Houston. That was a Deshaun Watson signing. Watson really wanted him to come over here. And of course Harrison Bryant continues to be the number two tight end here. So those are the three coaches who are moving on from the Browns just a couple of days after they're eliminated from the playoffs. Now what is going on here? Let's read under the covers. OK. Usually when a team does this and because there are so many openings out there and going to be new head coaches named around the NFL and then their staffs will have to be filled that the Browns might have their eye on specific people that they want to be able to go and get right away. If you go back to last year right away Joe Woods was released as the defensive coordinator and then the Browns had their eye of course on Jim Schwartz and they went right out and got him before anybody else could claim him. Conversely if you remember Bubba Ventrone the Browns had their eye on Bubba Ventrone to be their special teams coordinator but he was interviewing still in Indianapolis to be the head coach with the Colts as soon as he didn't get that job then the Browns went boom right out after him got him the next day and then Mike Prefer became the casualty there as he was released as a special teams coordinator. So Jay the interesting part will be who would come here and take the offensive coordinator title position if you're not going to have play calling responsibilities right especially when the last guy ends up being the fall guy yeah he didn't call plays let me ask you this Jimmy one <laughs> do you are there any names that you're hearing and two is there any possibility that this might be a philosophical shift within the organization and that the next offensive coordinator would take over play calling from Kevin Stefanski. It's out on the table. I think it definitely would be out on the table and you wonder what's going to happen now. And of course it was a very hot topic last year that a lot of people thought at the end of last year coming into this season that Kevin should have given up the play calling responsibilities right. and just been kind of a CEO head coach. He didn't want to do that. I don't think he still wants to do that. I think he likes calling plays. This is his offense and he likes working with his staff but this is his offense and he really feels he's got the finger on that play call sheet and that he likes dialing up his own plays and kind of making his own fate. If you're talking about where this goes OK there are three different ways this could go all right. If you notice that the next offensive coordinator has Stefanski ties then he won out and got the guy that he wanted to come in here. Interesting. If they have Deshaun Watson ties then you can say all right well that's another situation where Watson wants to even be more comfortable with his own guy in there or if it has Andrew Barry ties then obviously the general manager of the team would be calling the shots. Watch how that plays out. Yeah. Who wins the power struggle. I'm sure we'll keep you posted. Jimmy thanks. We'll see you again at six. You got it.